Welcome to Friday Nights with Emma. Got a nice new gin tonight. Very, mm, it's very tasty. Thank you, Annette. It is Tarquins, Cornish Tarquins dry gin. It's very nice. I think I may have found, thank you, Link. May have found a new favourite. That one is on Pride of Place at the moment, but it is going to be hidden. So I, I know about that one. But it's not going to be shared. You're, you're the only one in the house that drinks gin. There are people, sometimes people visit who like gin. Mum likes gin. I might let mum have one. Sue is watching. Hi Sue. Yeah, I'll just let everybody join for a couple of minutes. Give us a little thumbs up or a heart and let us know you're there. Uh, Mikey's on camera as usual. Link is doing his usual helps. Aren't you Link? Judith. Hi, oh, hi Judith. Teresa. Hi Teresa. Susan. Hi Susan. Joan. Hi Joan. Dawn. Hi Dawn. Valerie. Hi Valerie. Margaret. Hi Margaret. Yeah. So tonight, pie, popular request. Link is not in the light. I'm going to show how to do a tied quilt. Now I've only got a little baby one here. This is going to be a little doll's quilt. But the principle is the same whether you do something small or a full size quilt. Sandy says hello. Great show on Wednesday. Mm. Thank you, Sandy. I liked it. It Annette, was fun to be back with John. Uh, Annette is watching because he likes your oh, t-shirt. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Joan Question. also says great to see you on Song Street. Oh, thank you. Sharon. Hi, Cheryl. Sharon. Hi, Cheryl. Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Susan. Hi, Susan. Diane. Hi, Diane. Terry. Hi, Terry. So I'll show you what I've got started. Uh, your mum is watching. She Hello, says mom. you look lovely. Oh, thank you. Got my uh, hair cut. Oh, it feels so nice. Jackie is watching. Hi, Jackie. Uh, she says hello to Link. <laughs> Carol. Hi, Carol. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Judy. Hi, Judy. Uh, and Gail. Hi, Gail. Right, 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 right. So, what I've done is I've got two pieces of fabric. This is just basically from Frack Waters that I have trimmed so they are exactly the same size as each other. So if you were doing a quilt, you would have your quilt top on the top and then you would want your backing um, to be exactly the same size as your quilt top. Karen's watching. Laurie is watching. Oh, hi, Laurie. Hi, Karen. Diana. Um, now, having, having said that... And Lorraine from Kent. Oh, hi, Lorraine from Kent. Hopefully the weather's good down there. And Christine says, I hope Christine. you are enjoying the gin. I have some rose gin from South Africa. Ooh, that sounds nice too. And your Sarah is watching. Oh, hi, Sarah. Did my nails this morning. Oh, got my hair done. Got my nails done. I am ready. Tina is watching. Hi, Tina. So, yes, I said cut them both the same size. Now, the way that I'm going to show you... Diane is Hi, watching. Diane. ...is bagging it first, just like we did with the table runner. However, you don't have to bag it if you tie it. You've got an option. I'm going to bag this one, but if you want to tie it uh, and then bind it around the edge, you, do, you want your backing to be wider than your top, just like you would for normal quilting. And you layer it up exactly the same way as for normal quilting. The only thing that you do differently is the tying part. So Sa this one's going to be bagged. Sandra and Deborah. Are oh, watching. hi, Sandra. Hi, Deborah. And Barbara says you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got my wadding. Now I'm using polyester. You don't have to. Traditionally, you do tend to use polyester for a tied quilt. Um, only because back in the day, when cotton wadding wasn't as nice as it is now, um, it used to come apart. That's why they used to have to quilt cotton wadding quilts very densely so that the the, when the wadding comes apart, it doesn't shift. So, but now with the modern cotton waddings, you can quilt them up to about six inches apart. So tying is fine for those. And I'm going to use a polyester. So I want this to be nice and light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my wadding to the same size as my quilt. I'm going to trim it again in a minute anyway with my lovely gym. I don't want to spill that tonight. Uh, 
Judith is watching. Um, oh, hi, she also loves the, the top. Oh, thank you. Yes. I my swifts. I had a bit of sparkle today. Oh, the best part about this top? No ironing. Yeah. I'm all about the no iron clothes. Okay, almost getting that lovely scissors against the table cutting cloth, but not quite. It's, a, it's like a pared down version of it. It's like cutting fabric with scissors against the table light. I love that sound. Christine is watching. Oh, hi, Christine. I'm sorry, this is a boring bit. But we'll get to the interesting bit. Just a moment, teacher. There. So this is actually going to be, I'm going to make this into a little doll's quilt. Lori says she enjoyed the show with John. Oh, thank she you. got the Sunshine Cathedral window. Oh, nice. That was that was a pretty one. I did like that one. I like the winter one too, but yeah, that one. I, it was very autumn-y. And autumn, I'm very partial to autumn. Oh, what am I doing? Your brother is watching. Oh, hello, Simon. So, I'm going to layer it up to do the, the, um, the bagging. So, I'm going to sew around the edge. And I want... Back facing the um, wadding, and then top and bottom, top and backing, right sides together. Now, if you really want, especially with um, actually with cotton would work as well. If you are a spray baster, spray basting this would work really well Link. at this point. So, if you're going to use the 505 adhesive spray to baste it, don't forget you. Um, you spray on the wadding and then you apply the fabric to it rather than applying it to the fabric because it sticks better if you apply it to the wadding. There we go. Now I'm going to put this over here. So right sides together, wadding is on the bottom. There we go. Because this is polyester rather than a cotton where it does stick quite well I'm actually going to do what I never do and that's pin just to keep them all together Elizabeth is watching oh hi Elizabeth as you're saying this is going to be a little doll's quilt this would be a really nice project for a child to do I actually have done Kaylee made a quilt with her friend Sam Sam was born about 10 days before Kaylee of course we didn't know them when when they were born we met each other when they were in school but they were good friends for a long time Samuel he loved to sew. Kaylee couldn't be bothered about when I was sewing. She's like, yeah, yeah, mum's quilting, whatever. But he was fascinated. He really loved it, which was exciting. So, yeah, he and Kaylee made quilts, made a quilt each, and then they tied them. Only about this size. I think Kaylee still has it somewhere. Right, so it's all pinned up. And actually, I'm going to move these to about here. So these are my big ones. And just like I did with the table runner, I'm going to leave this part open. So I'm going to start sewing here, about half an inch in, all the way around. And I've got my walking foot on already. So we'll just move over to the zip machine. I'm going to increase my stitch length to about three and a half. Diamond says, made a table runner out of the gray and pink half meters oh, of paisley beautiful. fabric. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, for her best friend. Aww. I think her mother will love the gray, but... We'll have a fit when it's turned over and the pink meets the traditional red she expects. Oh. <laughs> and Ross is watching. Well, I always get my so you as you probably see, my tree is blue. So that's why I've got blue nails for Christmas, because I usually get blue nails for Christmas. I think, you know, Christmas traditional fabric uh, colours are what you want them to be. 
Sally Ann says her boys made quilts too, but they wouldn't like anyone to know now. Aww. <laughs> Bless. Anushka is watching. Oh, hi, Anushka. My wadding, as you see, my wadding is overlapping a little bit. That's fine. I'm going to be trimming it like I did last time anyway. I need to go back a little bit. That's a little bit. But when I turn it around. Yeah, again, this, sorry. This is the boring bit. But it's a small project, so it should go really quick. What I have done, and this works well for a kid project, um, you can actually do, what was it? I think I did about two meter and a half. So two lengths of fabric, your usual about 40 inches wide, um, about a meter and a half, I think it was, um, do exactly the same thing. So it ends up more of a lap quilt type size or even baby quilt type size, but something that you know, a kid can make and then snuggle up underneath the sofa, under on the sofa. Christine says she has just finished two children's quilts Ooh, for nice. two five-year-olds and I've almost finished the third advent calendar oh. which I've added hundreds of seed beads oh I bet that's stunning that is going to be so it's going to be a heirloom come out every Christmas definitely I didn't get an advent this year Simon my brother Simon did not that I'm bitter come on I'm kidding I'm trying to stay off of chocolate at the moment, so Advents are not in our house. Just going to take some of these pins out as I go around. There we go. Anne is watching, um, she, sorry, she was watching Corey. Oh, <laughs> that's what, was it last week, Sarah? Sarah said to me, like, sorry, I didn't watch you this week because I was watching Corey. It, Corey was too important. I'm like, that's okay, sorry. I don't mind. Apparently it was dramatic. The little baby died. It was sad. Spoilers. What if some... some... That was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, all right. So hopefully... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully everyone's seen it. Yeah, I think it was on the cards. So I, Mum will know. Mum's a curry watcher. Mum's a soap watcher. Um, Anne does ask, what are you making today? Oh, I am making, I'm showing how to tie a quilt. Now I'm doing it small scale, but right now I am just bagging it out, um, just like I did on the table runner. Now, when you tie a quilt, you can you can bag it out, which is a lot quicker than binding, or you can do it regularly laid up um, as you would for quilting and then do a binding around it as well but I'm gonna do it bagged for this one <laughs> Diamond says she bought her son his usual chocolate advent calendar this year he didn't notice until the 16th and then ate every chocolate to get up to date <laughs> good, good man and your Sarah says, yes, sorry, it was sad. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's done. Now I'm going to do some trimming. 
So that's what it ends up looking like. And Margaret says, I've made two table runners. It's the first time of making oh, them. Oh, One in yay. hexagon and one in triangles. Oh, that sounds nice. And not at all, Elizabeth. <laughs> so I'm just trimming a little bit of the um, wadding around the edge because when I turn it around, if you don't trim it a little bit, then you're going to have double the wadding along the edge. Isn't too much of a problem with polyester because it's quite fine. But if you, when you do the cotton or the cotton blends, it might be a little bit too much. And I'm trimming it, not all the way to the stitching. You can see that's what, maybe eighth of an inch there. So it's not completely trimmed to within an inch of its life, but it's fairly trimmed. You don't have to do it perfectly just so long as it's most of the bulk has been taken out. Yeah, I'm going to trim that corner while I'm there. Now, if you were doing this on a full size quilt or a bigger quilt, it's exactly the same process, only obviously that will be bigger. These ones are close, Ted. Those are far away. People would get it. Okay. And says so she loves the yellow fabric. Oh, yellow is actually our um, table cloth. That oh, yeah. is a Dunelm oil cloth special. Yeah, we can't have proper that proper cloth. Well, we do have a proper cloth tablecloth, but we only have it for special occasions because. Yeah, I have a messy family. It has to be washed every time it gets used. So the reason to bag it is because you don't have to bind it. So it's another way of doing a quilt. You can quilt, you can bag it and quilt it if you want, instead of tying it. It's just a way of doing it that you don't have to do any binding on, if binding isn't your thing. Uh, Diamond says, don't worry Emma, I'll pick up all the bits on the floor later. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> just like my house. <laughs> and Christine says, her niece filled the advent calendar she made for her with miniature alcohol. Ooh, that sounds yeah, that's that sounds nice. It might be the only pub open. <laughs> yeah. Ours is reopened. No, why would it? So, so trim that. There. That's what it looks like. Um I have trimmed a little bit along the opening as well. So I'm gonna be stitching this up, but it's the extra has been wadding has been trimmed from that. Now, I've just got to turn it over. Lorraine says, look at all those fibers. Yeah. Yeah, I did make the opening a little bit smaller than I normally would because I wanted to limit the amount of hand sewing that I had to do. I'm just being lazy. Anne is asking, I think, a rhetorical question. <laughs> do you have your G and she has her G and T? Do you? Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. It's a good one. Actually, it's a very pretty bottle. I'll show you the bottle too. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. There, Tarquins. Very nice Cornish dry gin with an orange burst. And what did I say? There was some other botanicals in it. I read that were really nice. Um, Violets. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. Mm, that is a good one. Recommend it, definitely. So I'm just pushing out the corners. Oh, oh, that's not good. Just found a pin that I didn't take out. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh, I'm going to have to find that. Michael, where's your feet? Uh, Claudia says, evening all. Hope the nasty elf has not cut my hair. 
Oh, <laughs> that was a, yeah, that was a thing. So you don't know about Elf on the Shelf. There was a picture. So do you know about Elf on the Shelf? No. Okay, Elf on the Shelf is um, an elf that comes out at Christmas and um, he does naughty things at night. And one of the pictures was he had shaved a strip into the back of, of a chap's hair while he was sleeping. Oh, here's another one. No, Michael is, yeah, he doesn't know that. No. That's after his time. I'm not hip happening now. Yeah. No. I actually have to admit, I'm kind of relieved that we've escaped that. I don't know if Haybu will be into it. <coughs> Don says that looks fabulous. Gin. Oh, it is, it is tasty. And asks, um, we'll have to look for that. Um, she asks, where is it from, please? It is. Um, it's Cornish. Um, person you sent it to me, Annette, said it has, they went somewhere special in Devon to get it. Or her daughter went somewhere special in Devon to get it. So it's very much appreciated and it will be hidden after tonight. It won't, people won't know that it exists in my house. I will be the only person who knows where it is. Annette says, it's gorgeous. Annette says, it's not, the, it's not washing them, Emma, it's the ironing of the tablecloth. Oh. Hers is <laughs> 16 foot long. Oh. A proper chore. Wow, yeah. But won't be using it this year, only two of us. Mm -hmm. And so, so. Oh, oh. I have to admit, I've cheated. <clears throat> we have. Um... Sorry, everybody got me on the camera there for a minute. <laughs> what a treat. Yeah. <clears throat> right, now I'm going to do a time bit. So I've left it open. Christine says her rose gin has a very Art Deco bo Ooh. bottle. And uh, Elizabeth says Elf is a cheeky fellow. He is. So you can sew it up at this point. So it's just a little whip stitch to sew that up, just like you, you did before with the table runner. But the tying part, so I've got, I have used like embroidery thread, um, not split just as is. This is cotton, some cotton thread. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what weight it is, but you want a good sturdy, um, non-breakable thread nothing too thick this is probably about perfect to be honest with you um i have seen them done with wool there's the as well part yeah but it doesn't say um, what weight it's just 100 percent cotton uh laurie says pretty bottle to keep maybe uh put a candle in oh that's a good oh i'll tell you what i have done is um that is pretty though i think i will do that and judith says the gin is made in wade bridge cornwall oh and, very nice. and your sarah says it's santa <laughs> uh yeah the, the the beard is getting a bit unruly <laughs> okay so i'm just throwing it so what i've cut is a length and you can do individual ties if you want but this makes it go a lot quicker so if you're doing a <clears throat> a quilt quilt a patchwork quilt normally i would say go in and down on a spot where there are seams around seams because the one thing about tying is that it doesn't last quite as long as a quilt would what you'll find if you if you tie a quilt and you use it very frequently over time the knots will wear a hole through the fabric so it will come undone so that the actual the thread the fabric rather will get a hole in it from wear so to combat that what you can do is do a little circle of felt on the opposite side i'll show you uh, but it's one of those six of one half dozen of another it's a very quick and easy way of doing it but there are drawbacks what's the drawbacks but there's pros and cons for everything diamond says she saw a video recently that showed the foolproof method of rolling the hems of course she can't find it again oh. <laughs> is there a trick rolling hems oh like rolling hems on a clothing item or rolling hems like as in opening the seams don't know okay um kirsty is watching i'll turn this around this way so you guys can actually see what i'm doing and laurie says do i have a favorite beer i'm i'm more cider and stout and porter than lager yeah yeah he likes dark dark or cider um yeah, so I've got a wool needle. Opening the seams. Oh, yeah. 
I tend to just run a finger down, just like I did last time, or so the end of my jack would be a good thing. I haven't actually seen, so if, if there is a, a better video, a better tip for doing that, let me know, but I usually just, yeah, run something along it, basically. Uh, Christine says she went past the distillery where the gin was made last Wednesday. Oh. And Annette says, I think Waitrose sometimes has Tarquin's gin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes so sometimes so does Amazon. Because oh, Amazon yeah. has everything. Everything, yeah. Okay, so yes, my needle. So I've got a wool needle. Or it's, I guess it's a cr cruel needle, rather. Because it's pointy and sharp at the end rather than blunt. But you want a nice big eye, obviously, to hold your your wool or your thread or your tapestry thread it goes but, through the feet all the same <laughs> but you want it to be sharp so it goes through everything and i'm just going to go straight down through all the layers and i'm going to pull that so it just leaves enough of a thread to leave a tie so i can tie it easily come back up Maybe about not quite a quarter of an inch, so away from the other. Now, if you want, you can go back down and up again if you want to. Ooh, I've got a thread in there. So that's my first one. And it looks like that on the bottom. So that's where I say you can put a little circle of felt. So you'd you'd actually push your needles through all the layers plus your little circle of felt and then come back up and then through the felt again just like a little button or you can do buttons mum has done buttons before when she's tied them um, and then that just adds a little bit of stability because you see this part of the fabric here over time it will get a hole in there it'll the the tension that you have on the knot will make a hole basically from a lot of you, I mean, it takes years and years for that to happen, but it will eventually at some point if you use it a lot. So I'm just going to leave that like that and then move it over about we a hand's should, width. You should do the, the thread in the buttonholes. Oh, that's, that's clever. I should. Okay, I'll do See? that. I come up with a good idea now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Karen says, gorgeous nails. That's Ooh, my job you. for tomorrow. I need Christmas nails. Yes. I was in desperate need of them. I had broken two. And Link's eating the wadding. Uh, he likes the wadding. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to come straight up. There we go, that's through the hole. Link is standing on the thread. This is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Link. Okay. It's like, no, you come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, Christy Thank you. says, Thank you'd, you, Link, you'd like what my husband and I are drinking tonight. Northamptonshire Pot Belly Brewery. Pig and different. It's a very dark, almost a stout. Mm, that does mm. sound good. There, I'm just leaving like that. And the next one. Diamond says, oh, hello, artistic direction from the cameraman. Well, <laughs> I, I just thought it would be, it would be, Clever. yes. Thank you, Link. It's, 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 my, it's my one good idea for the year I'm done. Mm. Where he says, oh, Link wants to play. Oh, okay. yeah, there he goes, he's gone. Oh, he scares easily. No, you did have a good idea, actually. I can't remember what it was now, but you did have a good idea not that long ago. I usually write um, these down because yeah. they're so few and far between. Even I said, that's brilliant. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I have my moments. You do. Right, I'm going to do one more, maybe through the heart. And that says uh, he's making her laugh out loud, mm -hmm. Link. Now, normally I would just, I'm just going to leave this one here. You just continue until you run out of thread, basically. There. So you continue the whole thing until you <clears throat> run out of thread. And says the fabrics you are using are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And then what you do is you just snip this in between each one. Then you end up with a tie. 
just like that and then you tie it I don't know what you call this knot but you do just a granny knot regularly and then the other way you do the the opposite so you go thread over one way then thread under the other way so you, it's opposite but then you also do so I'm going to twist it through once and once more so you twist it through twice basically just to add a bit of more security and there just like that that's a tie you can leave it longer or typically about half an inch trim about half an inch that's that one Thank you, Link. Lori says, uh, well done to me. You get time off with good behavior for Christmas for having a good idea. Mm -hmm. One, two. There we go. And if you do do wool, when you wash it, because these, these fray, they make a little bubble, little fuzzy bubble, little felted bubble. And I'm just tying it as tight as I can, really. You want it to have a good knot. So that's one, two. There we go. There. And you can see on the back what it ends up looking like. So if you, especially if you use a polyester wadding, that ends up being really light, really lightweight. Um, it's a nice, nice way of doing a quick, really quick and easy baby quilt, especially if you've got a baby panel. Um, tying it makes it really nice. Linda asks, would you put any glue on the knot? Um, you can do to make it a little bit more secure. I, I have to admit, I have um, I have tied a few quilts before and I've never had a problem with them actually coming un undone. But yeah, to make it a little bit more secure, if you want to do that, you definitely can. It all depends on the wear and tear of the quilt going to see in its life. Claudia says, great nails, lovely oh, for Christmas. You. Yeah. So that is, thank you, Link. That is how you do it. Of course, if you were doing, if you wanted to add binding instead, you just layer up everything as you normally would. Um, I have, well, actually, I was thinking one of the quilts that I did tie and I did bind it as well was one that I made for a gentleman who brought me um, swatches from um, upholstery books so you know the little swatches that you get in the in the books that if you go to the furniture shop then you which ones you you um which fabric you want he brought me those they're already cut so i didn't have to worry about cutting them out of the books or anything and so i did a big patchwork quilt with all of that upholstery fabric just squares really thick polyester wadding on the inside and i think it was fleece on the back and then we added some corduroy I think corduroy um, sashing and borders and it was a very big very heavy quilt and there's no way I could have quilted it so that was tied and yeah I just laid it all out so I just layered it all up just like I would normally did the tying so I did it on the floor so I did it on my hands and knees the tying all the tying and then once it was all tied and then I just trimmed it and bound it just like I would normally I think I remember that one yeah that's what I did in Oregon yeah yeah that was heavy. It was heavy. Yeah. He was very happy with it. Yeah. I did my usual deal. If you buy all the fabric, I'll make it for you. Uh, Gail says she's just received some Buckingham Palace gin from Ooh. from her daughter and son-in-law. Ooh. Roll on Christmas, Christmas Day. Yeah. I wonder what that tastes like. Regal. Regal. You see what I did there? Yeah. Okay. See, I, I should have just stopped while I was ahead. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to continue doing, sort of trying to get for the next row, I'm trying to keep them evenly spaced, and I'm going to alternate. So maybe if I do it through here. Yeah. 
this one. Yeah, so this is going to be my. Well, it won't be my strictly project because I've got something else doing that. Oh yes, that's a strictly tomorrow. Oh, I wonder who who do you think is going to win? Me and my hairdresser were talking about this tonight. So I have a, I have an idea. Well, I have who I think will win. It'll be interesting to hear what everybody else's thoughts are. If anybody's watching it. This is the, the final actually tomorrow night tomorrow. or the Sunday results or is no, that no, it's no more? It's all, all happening tomorrow. They tell you who wins tomorrow. I'm just going to do one more row. I think that might finish up. Oh, maybe not. So then that needs to be along there. So I'll try this one. Uh, Elaine says, uh, I guess this is a contestant, H R V Y. Yeah. Who's Harvey. that? Harvey. 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 Yeah, that's who I think is going to win as well. He's been very good and he's been very popular. He hasn't been in any dance offs yet. So I won't be surprised. Kirsty says she would like Bill to win, but I think Harvey might yeah. do it. Jackie says Jamie. Oh. And Diane says Jeanette and Harvey. Oh yeah. Christine says good night all. Time to take the dog out. Oh, good night. Yeah, I won't be much longer, to be honest. And Anne says Tarquins make a figgy pudding gin. Oh. Oh yum. Yum. Susan also says, the Harvey. Yeah. I think that's who's going to win this year. Is his, is his name actually H-R-V-Y? Is this sort of like a prince? He's a uh, yeah. symbol rather than... So his name actually is Harvey, but, you know, he's young and hip, so he took all the vowels out of his name. Because he can't spell? Or... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, my love. He's young and hip, what can I say? I think, okay. Lorraine says the young girl from E.E. E. Oh, he sent us. Okay. Maisie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I do like Maisie. I like I like her. I think she does really well dancing. I just don't know if she'll win because she has been in quite a few dance offs, so although I do I do like her. I was disappointed when Giovanni went out though. Terry says I would like Bill to win too. Yeah. And Valerie says she is making the snowflake wall hanging. Oh. And I'm up to the scary part, cutting away the top layer. And Elaine says he was christened Harvey because he sings. And Carol says, but there might be an upset. Remember when Chris Hollins won? Oh, I, I don't. I, I didn't watch it um, before Claudia and... No, I can't remember her name. Why don't, can't I remember her name? Anyway, the other one. And Lynn says, I got a mold gin from Aldi yesterday. You have to try it. Ooh. And Diamond says, too, right? Young and hip and can't spell. <laughs> Gotta love them. Yeah. Well, they make more money than us. Which is the uh, Yes, <laughs> that's, that's, yes, yes. That's the depressing part. Okay. Almost uh, done, Link. Diane says, yes, but I put the balls back in. She was also devastated when Giovanni went out. I know. And Judith says yeah. Harvey to win because Jeanette deserves it too. Yes, that's true. I do love Jeanette. Oh, Elaine says no. He chose H R V Y as a stage name oh. when he started singing. Oh okay. oh, okay. Annette says if you tie patchwork top made from squares, does it weaken the seam at the cross point where the squares meet? Uh, no, but I would recommend when you do your ties, do them at the cross point rather than in the middle. Of the, of, so you, pardon me, so when you do your ties, incorporate the seams into, inside your ties, because that will actually strengthen the ties, because you've got more fabric in those corners, um, rather than doing in the middle of the square, when you've only got one layer of fabric, wadding and a, a layer of fabric, then you've got more of a chance of it um, ripping all the way through, basically. So if you can, when you do a patchwork one, do try and tie them over a seam. 
that makes sense. Karen says, if that makes you young and hip, I'll start signing off as KRN. <laughs> Jackie says, Tess. Terry says, Spice. Oh, yes, Tess. How could I, how did I forget that? No, I love, I love them both. Terry says, Spice Plum Gym from Little is gorgeous. Ooh. Uh, I want to try their rhubarb. I did just buy another rhubarb one this week. Not a little one, but. Ken says Harvey is a natural dancer. He's he brilliant. Is. I'll have link you, you little. Have you tried Brecken Gin from Aldi? Gorgeous. Oh, I haven't. No. And Annette I, says thank you. I think somebody's said Brecken Gin before, but we tend to go to Lidl because I do like sometimes when they have brands. But what? Link. Link is pulling my ties out now. You see this? See this? Do you see this? That isn't helping me. It's making great camera though. <laughs> hey. Now I'm going to have to redo all of this. This is sort of like now become a Monty Python sketch. <sighs> anyway, that's how you tie a quilt. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm going to sign off because Link is going to pull all my ties out now. Um, yes, next week is Christmas. So I won't be doing a project next week, but we will be signing on at 8 o'clock. Say Happy Christmas to everybody um, and raise a, raise a glass and say hello. Kaylee will be here. Mikey will be here. Hey Boo will be here. So, yeah. Uh, Diane says her gin shopping list is getting longer by the minute with these mm -hmm. recommendations. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I know. He likes pins as well. Um, Diane says this is great. Lori asks, have you tried rhubarb and ginger gin? Yes, that's the one I just got, the Edinburgh one. But the liquor, rather, I've got both actually. But the Edinburgh gin, rhubarb and ginger liquor, I like best. It's a little bit sweet. It has a bit more of a flavour to it. And it's not as strong as a regular gin, so you can drink more. Caroline says, it looks like he was eating the bit you were cutting off. Yeah. And Judy says, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yes, so we'll, that's, that'll be it for today. That's my, I will finish tying those. Those are bits that I didn't think. <laughs> Diamond asks if I'm getting a parrot for Christmas. A dead parrot if Link gets to play. <laughs> yeah. Sandra says Link is a card. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And yeah, next week is Christmas. So no project for next week. If you have anything you particularly oh, want to oh, see. Are you going on Christmas Eve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I just said, we'll, we'll, we'll sign in. We'll, we'll do the live stream at 8. Uh, do a, a hi and raise a toast. It may only be a 5 or 10 minutes jobby. Just to say hi to everybody and happy Christmas. Um, but yeah, we'll be here next week for sure. Uh, yeah, that's tying. If you have any questions, just let me know. Just message me through the Facebook or whatever. Or email. And... Have a good weekend, everybody, and I will see you next Friday for Christmas. Bye. Good night, all.